got to make an entrance. Let me get all situated here. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that I took down the 15th of February 2018 video that included that, that world-renowned squirrel joke. I never intended to keep that up permanently anyway. I like the whole idea in this, this permanent world of the internet that sometimes th something just happens and it gets heard and it gets passed to another person, another person, ad infinitum. And then the original, the original impulse, that original pebble drop into that pond just fades away and is gone. <laughs> it's a weird thing, the internet. I really don't have a lot to say. And that's why I'm entitling this one too, Don't Watch It, you know? So if you don't like what I'm doing or you don't think I'm doing anything useful, you know, I don't have to give your money back because you've been warned. Transportation. Think about it. I like these little think things. It's like in the world of primitive arts and survival and living like a little woodsy owl out there like a human was intended to be, designed to be, capable of being. You know, what emphasis are we placing on just merely getting from here to there? There's there, there's pieces and parts, and everything is out there on YouTube. Everything is out there. But sometimes you don't draw in the importance of getting around, just transportation and carrying stuff, under the topic or guise of primitive archery or primitive hunting or, or, or bush skills. And in this way, I think that my talking about my kick sled here adds to the, the white noise of the internet, adds to the, the knowledge base of the world in some ways, in some small way. Not bringing anything new here, but maybe inspiring some of you that haven't really thought about this, how truly important and how truly impactful just these modes of transportations are. Whether or not it's a canoe, or it's a dog sled, or it's a kick sled. This is in the dog sled family, I suppose you could say. This marvelous device, this kick sled has the ability to support your weight on snow to allow you to move. Yes, I have to like stick my foot in there to get it going, but my weight is, is, is being managed by these runners. That's just like cross-country skis or or a set of snowshoes. Because it's an uneven surface, I've got the benefit, because it's not securely connected together with screws and glue, it's lashed with rawhide. So this is indeed very flexible. Even though the individual parts might not be the strongest in the world, together and lashed together flexibly, the thing is very tough. And it works the same way with dog sleds. I would look at one of my dog sleds which some modifications on this, different construction, but in some ways very alike this, is that you'd think, gosh, if this thing was bounding through the snowy wilderness being tugged by little huskies and malamutes, you know, it would be shaken apart. But even though the individual mortise and tenons, those joints may potentially be fractured, as a whole, the whole thing is strong. Metaphor there. I'm not going to tie you up long, nor am I going to tell another joke, because this is not a funny topic. This is a serious topic. My love of things, my love of all things transportation. That's why in the spring you notice, like, who, who else talks about a wheelbarrow and names them? Just like the ancient Celts, who would take their carts, two wheeled carts, disassemble them, and they would wind up being buried great with great ceremony, with important people, people of importance. That's how they revered their modes of transportation. Um, in the lakes region here, the Wigwas Jiman, the birch bark canoes, were also viewed um, as something of great importance. 
That's why I can I can validate, I can make excuses of why it's okay for me to be just out here playing with my little kick sled and going out in the parking lot and, and running back and forth, not only getting good exercise, but but thinking about people of the past, you know how important these things were to them. This nice deck right there. How much stuff can I carry? How much important stuff can I carry on this and relieve my back? Work harder, not smarter, my friends. This is where editing would be so handy.